Comic Con is a convention. They have them all over the world um, where different celebrities um, from different shows, movies, things like that um, go and art like um, comic artists go, people that like create like art artists for comic books, um, also like fan artists, um, people that draw characters from shows and movies and everything with their own like little interpretation on it. Um, go and then there's like vendors that you can buy things from like action figures and comic books and t-shirts and literally anything you can imagine they have there. And so um, yeah so it's like a place where all these things come together and then um, they usually last anywhere from two to three days and they're on a weekend and you go and you buy your ticket you can either buy like a weekend pass or just a one day pass depending on when you're wanting to go and you go and you walk around and you can buy things and um, get artwork or if you want to go and you, if there's like celebrities there that are like from a show that you like to watch or a movie um, you can go and you can meet them, you can get their autographs, um, get pictures taken with them. They also have um, panels where um, the celebrities will go up and they'll sit on a stage with a microphone and there's usually a moderator person that asks them questions at the beginning and they'll just like talk about their work that they're doing right at that time and then they'll open up the floor to questions and um, the audience members can go and ask questions and um, they ask some interesting questions sometimes. Why do you think the people of Arrow want you to take your hair off so much? <laughs> When you're a little older, you'll understand. Sometimes, and it's really funny. Um, but yeah, so that's basically what it is, like what goes down. Hey, I'm rolling. Oh, you're rolling? Okay. Oh, gosh, I'm on camera. Where are we? I don't know. Hey, <laughs> Chico. Okay, I'm here. Hi, Chico. Hey, I don't think I can do this. Yes. I don't think I can. You're great. Come on. I'm not, a, I'm not a television personality. Come on. I'm just a personality. We are at the Dallas Sandys. Sandys. Yeah, yeah. And where are we right now? We're at the exhibit hall. So this is where all the artists and vendors and things like that come and they can sell. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was really close. Did you need to get that close? Dude. Anyways. Right now we're in the exhibit hall. It is where the artists and vendors set up shops where you can purchase um, t-shirts, collectible items, art it, like pictures, anything like that. They have it right here. Let's go. Let's try to make our way through. I went to my first Comic Con two years ago. I found out about it um, on Twitter actually, Nathan Fillion who plays um, Richard Castle on my favorite TV show, Castle. Um, I tweeted that he was going to be at the Dallas Fan Expo. I immediately opened up the link and copied the URL and sent it to my mom and was like, I need to go there. I need to be here. The whole entire cast of Firefly was going to be there, and especially him, and I love him. And so I was like, I need to meet him. This needs to happen. And so that was my birthday present that year. Um, my mom and my sister went with me down to Dallas because I couldn't go by myself and because I couldn't run a hotel room. I wasn't 21 yet. And so we went and I loved it. And I got to wait in line all day and talk to a bunch of people who were also fans of his, of Nathan Fillion's and um, it was really fun. And met some cool people. Um, got to walk around and shop and Got some cool artwork from this um, artist, Jason Palmer. He does a lot of artwork for different shows like Once Upon a Time and um, Firefly and Buffy and all these other ones. And he had a really great one that was Castle. And I was like, I was going to get a Firefly one because I love Firefly, but I was like, I love the Castle one, so I had to get it. And so I got it, and that's what I got signed. And um, I have it hanging up on my wall. It was a lot of fun. So that was my first experience and it made me want to go back at some point. So 
right now we are waiting in line to purchase a ticket to go wait in line to get an autograph with Stephen Amell. He plays the Green Arrow on the TV, sh the CW show Arrow. That was really bad. I need to redo that. After I went to the Comic Con in Dallas two years ago, I wasn't able to go to any more Comic Cons until recently when I was able to go back to Dallas in February and go to their Dallas Fan Days. And that was really awesome because they had three of the people from Arrow that were there that I got to meet and get my picture taken with them and get their autographs. And so that was a really fun time. I went down with my friend Jessica and we just had a great girls weekend and got, I got to introduce her to Comic-Con because she had never been before. And so that was a lot of fun to get her, show her around what Comic-Con is and the craziness and the long lines and the awesome costumes, the awesome cosplay and everything that it's about. So, just got done. Oh my gosh, I can't talk about it. I'm too excited right now. Do it. So, I just got done waiting in line and getting an autograph from Stephen Amell. And I didn't cry, which, I was very proud of because that usually happens. And now I'm standing in line waiting to get an autograph from David Ramsey. And this one, we'll see how this one goes. See if I cry this time. Who knows? You never know with me. It could be good, could be bad. You never know. So, <laughs> And then I had an opportunity um, about a month later to go to Chicago to another Comic Con. Um, and there they had even more people from the Arrow cast, and they had people from Flash, and Gotham, and Legends of Tomorrow, and all these other shows, and it was really awesome. And um, got to meet a lot more people, and sit in some panels, and listen to people talk, and about the shows, and everything that was going on, and um, yeah, it was just really an awesome experience to get to go again, and meet some more people. So, just got back to the hotel, after a very first day, wait, let me, let me After start over. A very <laughs> first day. Rewind. Okay. So we just got back to the hut. Where should I look? Just look at me. So we just got back to the hotel after a very long day at Comic Con. Uh, it was very exciting. We got to stand in a lot of lines because. For those who don't know, Comic-Con is standing in a bunch of lines. Sometimes you have to stand in line to get a ticket, to stand in line to get a ticket so you can go back and stand in line again. It's really fun. But um, it actually is fun because you get to meet a lot of cool people that love the same things as you do, like while you're standing there in line. And so it's a lot of fun. So what do you what do you feel right now? Exhausted. You didn't think, I mean, you're not really moving too much, but it wears you out. Your legs are really sore. At least my legs are really sore. I can only imagine some other people's legs are probably really sore. Um, but yeah, it's definitely worth it to get to meet some awesome people. Um, not only the celebrities, but also people in line. Um, it's also fun we got to sit in and um, go to one of the Q&As today with Stephen Amell, who plays the Green Arrow on the CW show, Arrow, <laughs> and yeah. I don't know if Comic-Con is for everyone. I think it, I mean, to be really in to Comic-Con, it takes a certain, you know, person, somebody who is like a self-proclaimed nerd, somebody who isn't afraid to like admit how much they love a show or love a character, or love a comic, love a movie, anything like that. You know, the people that wear a TV show movie t-shirt every day, you know, like I do. I do that a lot. Most of the t-shirts I wear have something to do with a television show or a movie. And so, um, you know, like that's usually the people that you see that really get into Comic-Con. Um, but I think even if you're not a nerd, um, it's an amazing experience. Um, especially if you're like a person like my mom, like she didn't want to go with me the first time that I went, neither did my sister. They were like, this is not for me. There's nobody in my family. None of them are nerds. None of them like anything sci-fi related. Um, they could care less. Um, they, whenever I 
put on Buffy the Vampire Slayer reruns on television, they were just like, please, can we watch something else instead of vampire or something? Like, so I'm the only one in my family that really, like, is into this and stuff, but they went with me anyways because I couldn't go by myself, and so, and they both loved it, um, just because it is. It's a place where you meet so many different people, and um, my mom's the kind of person who loves to people watch, and so she loved it because she got to, like, watch all these people, because these people, like, like their costumes, their cosplay that they do is insane and stuff and so like she loved getting to see all that kind of stuff and she's not a nerd at all and so I feel like even if you're not like really in to everything like the Comic Con like is about like it's still a cool experience to go to at least once just to see you never know though if you go you might love it and keep going back so today's day two of Comic Con um, it's been fun so far. Right now we're on level three of the convention center, which is where the um, cosplayers, the professional cosplayers are, and also where photo ops are if you purchase any, which I did. So that's what I did this morning was I got my photo taken with um, three of the people from Arrow that are here, which is John Barrowman, Stephen Amell, and David Ramsey. So that was a lot of fun. Um, then we got to sit in on David Ramsey's Q&A and also Will Friedel's Q&A and got to get to know a little bit about them and yeah, so now I'm just walking around and yeah. I love Comic Con because it's a place filled with people that are just like me yet nothing like me. Um, they are all super fans. They are all people that love something about a show, that love characters in a show or a movie. And um, and so that's like one thing that I love is that getting to meet these people. And um, it's a place where people can be themselves and not feel judged because that's like one thing I love about like the nerd culture almost I guess I would say is that it's so like welcoming and accepting for like everybody and it's I don't know it's a great place to be and so Comic Con is just a place filled with a bunch of nerds and it's fantastic because we're all big one happy family when we're there and um, yeah so it's just really cool to go to them and be a part of that. Every time you say it, <laughs> no. we're just getting fun. 
something else. Too late. We'll come. We'll come. We'll come, we'll come back to it later.